Hi guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going over to the Williams Brothers and we're having a look at the Chocker Blocker Mocha Stout in a 500, 500ml can I should say and uh, clocking in at 4.8% ABV. This mine inspired brew is a mocha lover's delight, a blend of coffee from around the world combined with cacao nibs to deliver an intense stout for the ages so yeah these guys out of scotland i got this in my most recent beer 52 box which was the brew london box so yeah a nice uh, selection of beers it has to be said now i've had a couple of williams brothers beers uh, williams brothers beers i should say but they've been the ones that have been available in aldi and i'm, I'm not gonna lie uh, they were serviceable but i wasn't really blown away by them um, but the idea that this is called a mocha stout, I love my coffee in chocolate. Uh, rewind a second, brain. I can't I tell you what, I can't speak at all today. Um, but yeah, I love my coffee beers. Um, there's just that combination. It, it's just bang on, especially in darker beers. Uh, I wonder if it says what coffee it is. No, it doesn't specify uh, what coffee it is or where it's from, which is a shame because I like it when they, you know, uh, give a shout out to the roaster or the provider of the coffee. But I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, beautiful, beautiful looking artwork on this one. Very striking. So, uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get this opened and see what we get. But, yeah chocolate and coffee in a stout is there anything better people go for like you know the really highly rated like bourbon barrel aged stouts but to be honest just put some cacao and cacao nibs and a bit of coffee in there cocoa bean it's just it's just a marriage made in heaven so hopefully this will be um, as satisfying as I want it to. So yeah, beer in the glass then, and I think that is pretty much jet black, but then again, not really well lit at all today. Um, although I'm gonna get proper lit tonight, but um, don't ever talk like that again, Peter. Could I be any whiter? Anyway, but yeah, pretty much jet black, uh, beer poured with about two fingers worth of a nice soapy beige head looking like a, a nice mocha in the glass it really really does and i got a whiff from here so you know it's definitely um a pungent smelling beer so let's give it a proper nose the coffee and the chocolate just blends beautifully i would say there's a little bit more of the the chocolate coming through slightly reminds me of uh, dairy milk which is never a bad thing You get that earthy bitterness from the coffee coming through. Has that slight blue ribband wafer biscuit, which I'm definitely not upset about. Oh, it just smells so nice. Nice, sticky, dense malt carrots coming through as well. Well, we're on to a winner so far from the aroma, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but the coffee and the chocolate is overpowered by a sort of like berry-like fruity character, which I'm, I know Rob from Hop Scene has a pet peeve with a specific start, uh, strain of yeast that gives those flavours. I mean, I'm not sure if it is that same strain. <clears throat> or even remotely from that sort of strain. What the hell happened to a voice then? But, yeah, it, it slightly overpowers the beer. But 
Mouthfield could be bulked up a little bit. I will say that. But it's not all doom and gloom. If you like dark, bitter coffee, you're going to really enjoy this. Like a nice... Sometimes it's nice to have just a, a proper old school filter coffee with no sugar, no milk added to it. And I'm getting that with this. There's a gentle dusting of chocolate coming through. It's more of a, like a wafer biscuit covered in dark chocolate, I would say. But when you see a beer like this, you kind of expect maybe just a little bit more decadence. And that's that. I think that's what this beer slightly lacks. I mean, I'm not going to hate on the beer too much uh, because it's it's a tasty, simple chocolate coffee stout. But yeah, that, that berry character, I'm not the biggest fan of. And of course, that's not exclusively to this beer. Uh, some of, you know, the, the big notable stout breweries will use that yeast strain and you'll get that same character. I think that's what, what this is. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a lovely little beer, don't get me wrong, but it just, it just feels like there's... There's something missing, or a couple of things missing, to really elevate the beer. Um, on cask, I think you're onto a winner, definitely. Um, there's a slight smokiness. There's a really satisfying bitterness on the back end, which I'm really enjoying. And it's building the more I'm drinking it. But yeah, if it was just a little bit more creamy. Um, and yeah, I can imagine this being uh, just... Even more gorgeous on uh, on cask. I really, really could. Now, I don't get the big fuss about cask most of the time. Um, I find a lot of cask beers or cask variants of, you know, beers are really quite overrated. Um, like, people always go on about Trax Sonoma on, on cask. I much prefer it on keg and in can. I really, really do. Um, and, yeah, I'm not one of those people who thinks Landlord's the best thing since sliced bread either, so... If I had my craft card on me, I'd be throwing it at the screen because um, you can keep it. Um, slight licorice tone coming through now. Yeah, it just needs a little bit more creaminess. Maybe a slight more sweetness as well. But yeah, on cask, I could imagine this being an absolute belter. I really, really could. So yeah, um, I'm slightly, slightly disappointed. But for the right price, I mean, I don't know how much this beer actually is because I got it in my Beer 52 box. But if this was like three or four quid or around the three pound mark, I'd happily pick up more cans of it. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, I would definitely drink it again. But dark, rich, chocolatey, I'm not really getting the chocolate. I might like a little bit more chocolate in this. But yeah. It's still, to me, a 7 out of 10 beer. I would try it again. Um, it's definitely the best Williams Brother beer that I've had. And I'd like to try a few more of their, their beers, to be honest. Because, uh, as I said, the ones in Aldi, I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, but they're not bad beers either. You know, you know, so don't think this is like a negative thing about the Williams Brothers. Um, and I would like to drink more of their beers. And, uh, yeah, this on cask, hell yes, I'm all about that. But as it is, in the can, it's a serviceable stout. It, it's nice, and it's it's got enough coffee to keep me interested. I, I'm going to leave it at that. So yeah, 7 out of 10 for the uh, Chocker Blocker Mocha Stout from Williams Brothers out of Scotland. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts opinions down below. What's some of your favourite beers from the brewery? And uh, yeah, what's some of your favourite coffee stouts? Because it's slowly becoming one of my like favorite sub styles of beer uh just any any beer with coffee i've had some gorgeous ipas with coffee as well i just think coffee lends itself to beer really really nicely and i want more breweries to do that so get on it and but if not that's fine yeah lovely stuff uh it's just lacking a, a few tiny little things uh, but i'd still happily drink it again anyway 
go check out the Williams Brothers and if you're interested my link down below for your own box uh, for beer 52 is going to be down below as well thanks for watching i shall hopefully see you later cheers guys